on here guys today we're talking about the fpv cycle prototype 5 the full build-up and flight footage review now this prototype 5 comes in at an extremely light weight for a digital freestyle build it comes in at about 309 grams comes in at about 309 grams as it sits here that is with the props with this motherfucker that is with the props with the strap everything now how do i achieve such a low weight well first of all as we covered it in the frame overview this lightweight frame has mounting options for 20 by 20 30 by 30 and whoop mounting 25 by 25 solutions so i'm using a single whoop mount board this is the hi-fi on rc 45 amp and i'm running this on 6s with these ultralight motors the motors here are the amax super layer 2305.5 1950 kv that's right i went with a slightly smaller motor but i bumped the kv up to compensate so that hopefully i get a nice formula for ultra light flight the other way i'm reducing weight is i'm using the Caddx Nebula Pro. This saves five grams, still has an incredibly nice image. I have a video out where I compare this to the Vista camera and the Ishin Nebula Micro, all three, and this has very, very usable footage. It fixes the reduced frame rate of the original Nebula releases, so this is comparable to the DJI version of the camera saves you a couple of grams. Uh, now here you see the Vista unit itself and the Vista antenna and everything else is pretty standard in here i just have a crossfire receiver around it right here and the antenna out on the arm this has the great motor protection of all of the fpv cycle frames that floss style arm uh, which is my favorite motor protection in the industry of course you have a single standoff in the middle which i have anchored this power lead to and this is a perfect build for running a lightweight battery. This is a 6S 1150 milliamp battery pack. Save a little bit of weight here so your all up weight ends up being very, very light, guys. Like somewhere around 500-ish grams, depending on what battery you choose, you can easily get in the 400 uh, range, in the high 400 range. So, wow. I struggled to get my racing builds this light. How did I manage with a freestyle? Um, well, I was a little concerned at how these motors were going to perform. You see, on some of my freestyle builds, the DJI FPV DVR footage is so good that you really almost don't need an action camera in all instances. So I'm probably not going to run a GoPro on here. So if I'm not going to run a GoPro, I don't need the giant motors. Um, these smaller motors, and really they're not that much smaller, they're like barely a little bit less standard volume than a 2306, And but I was willing to see how it performed. Well, it exceeded my expectations. Without a GoPro, this has more power because of the lightweight than a standard um, build that I would build like with the 2306 with an extra 70, 80, 90 grams. So I was very impressed. I was hoping it would uh, fly equivalent. So in my mind, I love the way a freestyle quad feels that's about 390, 400 grams with a very powerful 2207 motor. So when I carry a GoPro and get heavier, I want a larger motor like the FPV Cycle Cinematic Motor or the Ethix Moon Boot. And if I am not going to carry a GoPro, then I can deal with a lighter motor and reduce the weight. So my benchmark for what feels good to me is 2207 or 2306, around 390, 400 grams without a GoPro. So when I add that action camera, I get larger motors. By eliminating the action camera, I can get slightly smaller motors and reduce the weight and actually get a more punchy feel. I didn't expect that this was going to just rocket me to the moon. So, man, losing that 80-ish, 90-ish grams really makes a substantial difference, especially when you pair it with a slightly smaller battery. You get a weight in the end that is so far reduced. The fun of this is just exceptional. Look at the um, motor spacing that you have front to back. You got about half an inch in there. So you do have some arm separation. Um, it's not the most, so you're gonna get a very smooth flight by this, but the modern versions of Betaflight 4.2, 
um, is just so smooth already and not dealing with the extra weight. I'm using the Gym Fan Hurricane 51466, one of my favorite props of all time, and it just handles it amazing look at the camera protection this is the original prototype of the frame the new ones that are going to be shipping to you are actually going to have the thicker camera plates so this is an outstanding motor option if you're going with a lightweight build it absolutely could carry an action camera if you wanted you're not going to have that super light pop anymore if you do that but it's plenty capable and uh wow this is an addicting formula that i haven't really tried before reduce the weight significantly, reduce the motor size, but the overall performance is actually increased. Um, so if you are like me and on occasion, you just wanna go freestyle some packs, you don't wanna have to worry about loading up your GoPro and you're perfectly happy with that DJI DVR, then man, this is the formula for you. What are in the comments, guys? Are you still using action cameras? Are you using ultralight action cameras? Well, Stay tuned because I'm gonna have a video of this SJ Cam C100 Plus, which is essentially a 33 gram action camera that this would work perfectly on. So stay tuned for that as well. Thanks guys.